Hello friends! In this video I'm going to show you how to use Python to convert newsletters into audio files. For example, we're going to use the deep learning AI The Batch newsletter and create a little script that scrapes the newsletter and converts it into an audio file. And just as an example, I will for example take this newsletter article here and what we will do is we'll convert it into an audio file like this. Dear friends, last week I attended the World Economic Forum, an annual meeting of leaders in government. All right, to get started, we want to open up a new code editor and use our Python um, tools for this. So the first thing we need to do is import our libraries and we're going to need two libraries, beautiful soup for for web scraping. That means taking down the text from the newsletter website and GTTS, which is Google text to speech, which is going to convert the text into our speech and audio file. So if you go into your terminal, you can do pip install a beautiful soup for and GTTS, and that will install your packages for you. We're going to say from BS4 import beautiful soup. And then we want to do from GTTS import GTTS with capital T T and S at the end. Next up, we want to implement two functions. One is going to be get newsletter. And what we're going to pass into this one is use an URL that we want to get. And the next function I want to do is to audio which is going to take the text we want to convert to audio. And we're going to start with this function first. So to start with this, I'm just going to print out a message saying converting to audio. And after that, we need to make a new text to speech object. So to do that, we do TTS is equal to GTTS. We pass in the text that we want. So text equals text. We can also pass in the language. So in this case, it's going to be English. Well, you could imagine you could edit this to French if you speak French or any other language that is supported by the Google text to speech. And after that, we could also use the parameter slow is equal to false um, to not have that option turned on. And then to save this to a file, we're just going to do tts.save. And here we can specify the file name we want to save it to. So in this case, I'm just going to say audio.mp3 so we know where it goes. Now we can test out this function actually to use call it outside here. So I'm going to say to audio and I can use say here, for example, hello world. And let's see what happens. So to run this, I'm just going to do Python three news to audio.py and we see converting to audio and we get the audio.mp3 right here. Hello world. Beautiful work. So we have the text to audio portion already done. But now we actually need to get the newsletter and that will require some web scraping. Now, when you go into web scraping, it's a lot about just fiddling around with the page that you want to get and kind of seeing what, what um, you need to kind of get out of this page. So one neat thing you can do is like, for example, if we start at the batch, you just pull up one of the articles that you want to work with. And after that, uh, select a text and right click and hit inspect. And what inspect allows you to do is see the HTML backbone. So really what code we need to create this website. And what's really interesting here is that we can see different types of uh, tags, uh, such as the P tag. Uh, we also have like header tags, article tags. And what's really key to keep in mind here is that we want to look at the elements themselves. So you see there's a P, here's something called a div and a side. Those ones we can use to try and extract. And right now we can see that all the text seems to be in these P tags right now. So that's giving us a clue that to scrape this website, we really wanted to try and extract these P tags. And another thing that we want to keep an eye on is kind of these classes right here. So often divs, headers, or main, or all these paragraphs often have different classes or IDs. For example, here you can see that this has an ID of top announcement. And we can use that with code to really specify what things on the website we want to extract. 
Now I'm going to copy over this URL and paste it down here. Um, we're going to remove the two audio. You say the URL that we want to use is this one right here. And now to parse this URL then, so I'm going to print again, so getting newsletter text right here. The first thing we need to do is to kind of get the page itself. And to do that, we actually need another package called uh, requests. So I'm just going to import that right there. And what we do is that we say, well, page is going to be requests.get the URL. And that means that we're just going to go out and request and get everything that we want to get back. Now, to be extra sure that this request worked, we can use the race for status function. And this will just exit our program if there was any error trying to get this page. So it really acts as a fail safe. After that, I want to make a soup. And soup is really from this beautiful soup. And what it allows us to do is that it will automatically parse the page and really turn all those um, tags that we saw into searchable elements that we can go in with Python and try and find. So I'm going to say soup is equal to beautiful soup. And we're going to use the content of the page and also tell it to use that, hey, this is an HTML page that we're looking at. So use the HTML parser. Now, as we noted before, we saw that the text in this case used the p tags. So I'm actually going to extract the p tags by saying, well, soup.find. And what we saw in the article is that we first had the article, and inside them, we had p tags just like this. So we're saying, go into the page, find the article, and then find me all the p tags inside of that article. And from here, we can extract all our paragraphs. So I'm just going to say a paragraph is a new list. And then for p tag in p tags, I really just want to extract the text and put it in our paragraphs. So paragraphs dot append and then p tag dot text. So I'm just saying grab me the text, put it into paragraphs. And really what we can do now is just return. We are just joining all the paragraphs together with a new line. And then we just sending this back. And now we can try this. So we have the URL and then we can just say newsletter is equal to, well, get newsletter and then the URL. And now we can print the newsletter right here. Again, if I do Python 3 news to audio, we can see that we're getting the, and we're already now getting the whole text. Now, this might be a little bit hard to see, so I can use this notation to just grab a subset of this newsletter. And what happens now is that we can get newsletter text and then it will just say the first thing. So for example, here, dear friends on the LMSYS Shapot Arena leaderboard. And if we go back to the page, this is exactly what we had in the newsletter. And now to complete our workflow and just have the newsletter turn into audio, well, what do we do? We can just say uh, to audio and just pass in our newsletter. Mind you, passing in a long text could take a while for the GTTS to um, kind of process. So just to save some time here, I'm just going to pass in the first 100 characters or so. But mind you, it might take a little longer if you're using the, um, the full newsletter. Again, I'm going to do news to audio, getting the newsletter text, converting it to audio, and saving it to the audio.mp3. Let's have a listen. Dear friends on the LMSYS chatbot arena leaderboard, which pits chatbots against each other anonyma. And that's pretty neat. So now you completed a project converting newsletters into audio, and you can then just upload this to your Google Drive, into your phone, have it listen with you, and have your newsletters on the go. All right, thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.